All right, good morning, students, staff. Today is a last day when it comes to getting to know our CTE programs at Dobbins. Welcome. So we have some questions. We have some students and teachers on the line and uh, we'll be able to field some of your questions, some things that you've been thinking about when it comes to your CTE, our CTE school. So let's get started. So uh, one person asked, what do you think is the best thing about each one of your CTEs? So what's the best thing about your CTE program? I personally feel like the best thing about my program, which is cosmetology, is it's not like you can take it and run with it and do however way you want to. The knowledge of cosmetology is really like a million and one things you could do with it. And that's what I love the most about cosmetology. Yeah. Thank you. Great answer. Anyone else? I think the... Um like the best thing for my shop is that it opens so many opportunities for you and you know you're learning teaches you how to do so much in the workforce teach you how to write the resume teach you how to uh network with others and you know teach you teaches you skills that you might never learn before that, that you might need in the future so like what wait what's the question again uh, like, what do you like about your CTE? What I like about my CTE is, is that, like, you can just do so many things with food because it's not just, like, a basic option. It's all around you. Because there's, like, a lot of restaurants everywhere. So, like, you can try new things, new cultures, while preparing food and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Listen, everybody got to eat. So, yeah. Anyone else? Anyone else? Yes, absolutely. Oh, so, oh. I'm sorry. You want to go? Go ahead. Good. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, yeah. But the best, like, the best part for me about our shop is like the creative freedom we have. We get like the freedom to do what we want the way we like it. it like we have some uh, regulations and rules and all that, but everything is up to you with your personal opinion. Were you about to say something, Mr. Curtin? I was, uh, good morning, everyone. So one of the best things about our shop uh, and I teach barbering uh, is that I get the opportunity to be able to teach young people how to stand on their own two feet, use their own two hands and make money. Make, make a skill set that you can take anywhere in the world with you and use uh, uh, as a barber a student. If you ever broke, it's only temporary. That's one of the best things. I think education should always translate into dollars, always. So if, if, you, if you have a skill set or you went to college or you didn't go to college, you, whatever you learned, you should be able to take that and apply it in order to be able to make an, a living on a regular basis. Yep. Um, my, good morning. My name is Kania Victor, and I am the fashion design program. And the best thing about my shop is that everything we create is on our own. Um, fashion has always been like a passion for me. So it's really exciting that when I finally got to high school, that's something I learned how to either like learn more about it. And also I learned how to um, like create and design clothes and, you know, my own stuff. So, yes. Thank you, a lot of good information. Uh, so let's ask another question um, for barbering. This is a barbering question. Did it take long, did it take a long time to get the hang of cutting hair? So I'm gonna speak for my students. <laughs> who are here all week um, when regarding cutting hair, some people, it, it depends on the person. Some people, like I've had students, okay, pick the clippers up, turn them on and they start cutting right away and they do it. They, I guide them through and they do it exactly how I say it. Um, and they did it first haircut, good. And some kids so nervous and so afraid 
uh, to make a mistake. And then you got to kind of talk them through that. So I think that a, a big part of barbering is just learning how to face your fears, just like anything else in life. You're going to have to be able to look at what it is that you want to do and whatever the goal is and focus less on what you're afraid of. If you're afraid, then that's good because that means that you can't just rely on yourself. And that's why I'm here as a teacher. I'm here to help walk you through it. Yeah. So as long as you know that I got your back and you trust me with what it is that you're doing, you'll be just fine. Thank you. Um, here's a computer question. I'm not sure if anyone from computers. All right, how about culinary? In culinary, when you cook, uh, do you get a chance to eat the food? Um, yes, you do. If you cook it, you can eat it majority of the time. Or we'll have something called staff meal. And we'll, that's where like everybody contributes to cooking. And like, you know, we can have breakfast in the morning, depending on where the class is. Okay, right. great. So if um, it's like for the restaurant, whatever, and like after y'all get your meals and stuff like that, and then like that time is over, then we get to eat the rest of that if it's leftovers. So, you know, we just, just don't be like dumping it away or whatever type thing. But yeah. Good. Uh, one st uh, student asked, how do you manage your work, clubs, and job? For Connor? Or just any shop? Uh, just period. Yeah, any CT. Man. I'm living proof that that is one of the hardest things ever. I don't know how college people doing it. Between your school, work, and just life, it's hard. I didn't know it was going to be that hard. I'm not even working no more because of it. It's not easy. But you can't be, you got to be strong because this industry is not for the weak. I, that's what I got to say to somebody that's stress them because they're trying to do the work and a job at the same time and then worry about personal stuff and be strong because it's not easy yeah that I, I, I like say, say the same thing i was talking about that yesterday like you know i have to take time you know to think about all the other stuff that i have to do for the school especially since i'm a senior but you know at the end of the day, it's going to benefit. Like um, one of the teachers said, it's going to benefit. And hopefully, you know, you know, well, not hopefully, most of you guys, a lot of you guys, all of you guys, you know, you can benefit off of this as well because it's going to do open up a door for a lot of opportunities for you guys. I think um, that based off that question, it really depends on the student. Because throughout high school, I've been in multiple programs. And I had multiple jobs throughout high school, through the, like my four years. So I feel like it depends on who you are as a student and how you do with time management. Me, personally, I think I manage it really well because a lot of my programs is after school. So if I had work that day, I'd be like, well, I got this program, do the program. Then I go to work. And then when I came home from work, I'll do the homework or something. Or I try to get it done when I woke up in the morning. So. It, it really just depends based on like how you are as a student and how your time management is. If you got good time management skills, you could really get everything done. But if you're not really good at planning out how you're doing things, then it's not gonna work out too good for you. That was a great yeah. answer. <laughs> that was a great answer. I like that. It really, um, it really sheds light on the fact that no matter what your goal is, I think it's so important to have a goal and then decide um, on the list of things that you need to accomplish and that you need to have in order to get to that goal. And then one of these right here, let me see, can you see that? It's a calendar. Uh, one of your best friends, you guys have that via your cell phone. Use it because in being able to do that, you'll see, okay, today I can do X and Y, but I'll have to wait till tomorrow to do Z. And you'll be able to lay it out and make sure that you actually set aside time for yourself. Um, and see if that would work for you before you even get into it. 
if you plan it out, if you write the vision, make it plain, you write it down, you plan it out, then it's a, a better chance that you'll be able to uh, accomplish it, whatever you have. You're right. Um, uh, it's not easy to, uh, to balance work and school and club and regular life and homework and whatever your trade is, but it is possible. Great. Thank you. Uh, so someone asked, what will happen if you mess up in terms of a haircut? Do you get in trouble? Yeah, somebody's going to be outside waiting for you. No. <laughs> so what happens is if you mess up on a haircut, it, it first of all, let's say it happens. Um, it's not about the mess up. It's about the recovery. And one of the skill sets that I teach my students in barbering is that uh, you, you, everybody messes up. Let's start there. So you can take the pressure off of you and stop putting it on yourself. But it's about how well you can recover. Uh, and really, truthfully, the, the difference between a good haircut and a bad haircut, two weeks. In two weeks, it all grows back. So, so if you want to start uh, on, on someone like in your household, like a brother, you know, or little kids, everybody lives in, in somewhere near uh, a or in a neighborhood where there's a little kid who gets a haircut maybe once or twice a year. That's who you get. You start with him. You start with him, yep, and say, listen, I'm gonna give you a bag of chips and a, and a juice hug <laughs> or whatever it is, but I want you to come back every two weeks and let me hook you up. And that's who you practice on and you pay attention to detail. I have students who I, um, they can FaceTime me. Let me know what time you're gonna be cutting here tomorrow. And they FaceTime me and I walk them through on FaceTime. There's no limit to the opportunities that we have now that we are digital. Um, and we don't have to just fall back and say, well, we can't do it. Nope, all things are possible as long as you believe including fixing a haircut that you might mess up. Thank you. Uh, this is a music question. It asks, how hard is it to make beats? Uh, and like which beats sound good with certain things? Well, it's not hard making the beats. Like, um, like you just got to, um, OK, so Mr. Shroom teaches us how to make the different kind of beats, how to put the pattern. And well, honestly, if you like it could sound however you want it to sound like if if you think it's bad it's that's all right because you could fix it and if it's good like um you'll get feedbacks from other students like you know what to fix um if it comes out bad you know what to fix and you know what's good so um let's say i don't know if you want to add anything else but uh yeah hillary i think that's a big part of it right it's a part of uh taking a whole different approach to making things because there's not a right or wrong answer. It's really like, what's inside of you? What if there's no, what if it's just the question is, what do you have to say? But at the same time, we do have techniques and what we try and do is as Hillary mentioned, give feedback, make sure that you know that the students that you're with for three years, this is your crew. So you have a chance to pretty much be very experimental and then work with us to get there. At the same time, we do study kind of, basic structures that can help you make really tight beats really early. So if you were on the chat throughout the week and you heard some of Hillary's work or some of Zayesha's work, that sounds like finished music to me. So we have tools to, to get there. And so maybe Hillary, you could talk about like backbeats or four on the floor or something like that if you want to. Simple concepts that uh, allow you to hear certain patterns in music from all over the world and different times and use that to actually make it make it work. Yeah, so um, so in every kind of music, you know, like in every language, there's always going to be the four on the beat. But like, they all sound like for the different languages, they all sound different. But like the four on the beat is something that you need like to start a song, like if I'm not wrong. Um, yeah, but making beats is not that hard. You just, you know, you got to focus on it. And yeah, that's all I got. Thank you. Uh, so a question for fashion. Uh, do you have to know how to sew before uh, you do it? Um, well, when I first um, joined fashion, which is my 10th grade year, we first learned how to hand sew. So you do learn how to hand sew at first, and you also know how to um, learn how to sew on the um, sewing machine too. So you don't know, you don't, you also just learn it. And even if you do, know how to already sew on a sewing machine, then that's good too. But yes, you if you don't know how to, you um, will learn. 
Yeah, so true, Camilla. Like you have to like learn how to hand sewing first, and then you know it's a process. It's a step by step, and you have to like know the sewing equipment first, and like how to do it. And yeah, that's it. It's a process. Good. So uh, another student asked, "Can these shops help you get into good colleges?" I, can I go? Step by step. And you have yeah, to so, you, um, so I, my name is Mr. Chester, and, and I teach sports marketing. And I feel like sports marketing really sets up the kids right for going into a career of marketing, uh, because it is a it is not a career that you need specifically to go to college, but it is a it is a help. So I I went I went to school for advertising. If I would have learned the tools that we're teaching now. I think I would have been set up for, for success. So we're teaching about public relations, uh, marketing and sales, you know, how to develop a client's brand, brand reputation and things like that. And we have a, two students on here and we have one, uh, Alfon AJ Alfonso, that is actually uh, gearing up to go to college. So he just got accepted to Temple and hopefully he shares some um, information about that. But we also have Gabe here too. So Gabe can also talk about that as well. Alfonso, you want to speak on that? Uh, <clears throat> I feel like uh, my past three years in sports marketing has encouraged me to go to college. And based off of the idea that I've been in sports marketing for the past three years, I feel like that I've wanted to take up marketing in college to enhance my knowledge of what I've been learning the past three years. So I definitely think that these shops can help you get into college because if you really have a passion for it, like if you're in business or graphics, I feel like you should take what you've been learning the past three years and enhance it into a career if you really wanted to. So to answer that question, yes, I do think that your shop class could help you get into college in a sense. Can I add to that as well? We also have uh, art articulations with several colleges in the area where you can go in and uh, have up to 18 uh, college credits uh, if you take this program and if you meet a certain criteria while you're in high school, which is pretty easy. And I've had several students take advantage of that over the years. And uh, while you're on, uh, another student asks, in graphic arts, can you design your own logos? Absolutely. Not only just yours, but uh, others around for local small businesses or any business uh, that you can uh, network with. Um, we have actually have logos up and down 22nd Street, uh, a hospice in, um, in the Montgomery County that were done by former students from here, but it was done while they were students in graphics. So they actually um, have their work where, where it's tangible and you can see it on a building currently. So yes. This is a cosmetology question. Besides makeup, what exactly are you learning? Besides makeup, well, skin period. We learn about the layers of the skin. We learn about how the hair grows out the skin, different kind of hairs that grow out the skin, or how to treat different kind of skin. It's the word I'm looking for. You know how some people have extra dry, extra oily, extra flaky. It's all different ways that you treat stuff like that. But besides skin and makeup, hair, especially natural hair, is like it's a whole another world. It's, you learn a whole lot about natural hair, about different curl patterns, different curl textures, what products you can and can't use with different textures and densities and stuff. It's a lot. It's fun as well. That's the thing. The book part, it's challenging, but it's not hard. It just, it's like fair because it's fun to have the hands on stuff. But then the book part is like, you knew this was coming. So it's really, it's, you just got to just make sure you want to do it. I re that's, that's what I would recommend because you can't be lazy doing cosmetology. Cause hair beauty, and especially the way people want to walk out the door, you can't you can't play with that. So, yeah. 
Thank you. Uh, so I think this is a question that all of the students can ask. Why did you pick the shop you did? Answer rather. Um, the reason I picked business is because just like, I had plans before, you know, high school. It's just like, I'm gonna do my own thing because I don't really wanna work for nobody. So when I got, so when I heard about Dobbins and how it had business and culinary and stuff, it's just like, okay, this is a school for me. So I got in and when it was the, the time to, you know, pick which CT you wanted to go into, business was one, one of my choices. And when I got in there, I started, I started, you know, doing my own thing. It's fun. You know, you get to experience different things. You get to learn different things. You get, it's an experience. Okay. And when you get out the experience, you know, all these things that you didn't even know existed, it, it's different. Thank you. Anyone else? Well, for me, because I'm in the same shot, Ms. D, uh, Ms. Dean Smith made a good business pitch you know, for me to join that class. And also, I just wanted, I basically said the same thing as Dean would said, but I also wanted to learn, like, how to, you know, like, um, you know, learn marketing and then be social with other people, you know, because I'm not, not really, like, a, I'm going to say, like, I'm not a social person, but I need to, like, um, practice my skills more with being social with others, so... In my opinion that this shop can really help and it also teaches you about responsibility accountability and you know the discipline you know that it takes to um be in this real world once you're out of college and it helps to like i said open the door for so many opportunities that you might never heard of before or you might not never thought of that you could join before so that's why i picked business thank you next the reason why I picked culinary is because, like, it felt more me instead of, like, doing hair or business or whatever type of shops that's out there. It was just, like, a thing I knew I could learn how to do instead of messing up so much. Also, plus, I'm not that girly girl type either, so, like, what's the point of hair? Next. I actually got put in my shop class by like, by like, I don't know, probably like by faith or something. Like, cause at first on my list, it was actually barbering, but I guess barbering was full. So my teacher at the time, Mr. Glock, if y'all remember him, he, uh, he said the rest of the boys in the class that was in my, uh, class, they picked sports marketing as their number one. So he was like, all oh, your friends going here. So I'm gonna put that as your second one. Cause I was also new to Philly, like my first year. So uh, I, I kind of think that it was kind of meant for me to be in marketing cause it's helped me in so many different ways. So I guess I got put here by fate or something. Thank you. Anyone else? Um, I oh. picked fashion. I picked fashion because like well, for one, it's not that many fashion programs in Philadelphia, like with schools and everything. So it was like, I didn't even know I wanted to go to Dobbins. Like I just, it was just a school I rode past. So when it was time for me to like to apply to schools, I didn't necessarily know what it was about, but I still applied. And like, I always been told like I got a creative mind. So it was like, why not show how creative I am and things I got to wear every day? Like you got to wear clothes, you got to, like you gotta wear stuff you're comfortable in. So it just makes more sense to be able to express myself and learn how to make stuff that everybody needs. Mm -hmm. All right, how about Kumir? Yeah, um, I picked graphics because it was a shop that let me be me. Like I came to Dobbins hoping to get into barbering, but after the CTE fair, I was shown that this is really the shop for me. It lets me be whatever I want, let me do whatever, I'm not do whatever I want. But it just lets you have freedom. You can be you, do you, design what you want. And it just helps you be you, be the best you. Thank you, Kamaya. 
I picked cosmetology because I just I always liked beauty. I was always the little the little girl that played the makeup or played the hair or something. Like I even cut my hair as a child, just being just too busy. But I just like the idea of a person being able to walk in looking one way and then walk out feeling so confident, just looking so, you know, just bring you back fresh to life. Clean. Fresh and clean. Yes, fresh and clean. Like, it's, it's lit. I, I like doing that to people. So, I, I like Kaz. I, I, I knew I wanted to go to Diamond since seventh grade just for cosmetology. Like, it's lit. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Janir? Yeah, uh, it's Gabe. You can call me Gabe if you're having trouble, you know, pronouncing my name. But if you would like to know, my name is Hainer because the G is pronounced H. But I joined sports marketing because it helps me really go into real estate because I want to invest to real estate wholesaling, flipping houses and making a profit out of it from like, what, $200. And it really helps me like brand my real estate business. It's going to help me advertise my brand and just help me get more clients and just build my empire business. Thank you, Gabe. Uh, Kamiya? Um, yeah. Huh? Did I have you go already? No, I didn't go already. So the question is, um, uh, why do we um choose to shop we did, right? Yes. So I chose to shop fashion design because um fashion has like always been my passion, as I said before. Um, I based it on basically what I wanted to do and how it will help me with my future life and um what I wanted to do in the future. So I want to grow up to be a fashion designer or a fashion model. So I felt felt as though fashion design has to do with modeling and um, designing clothes. So that's why I chose fashion design because it's always been my passion. So, yeah. Thank you. Hillary? Okay, so um, the reason why I chose music production is because music is something I have always liked. Like, I started mu writing music since I was like 13, I guess. Um, and yeah, so music is something that I, I've always liked. And music is something that will, that has always helped me calm down. It has helped me with issues and, you know, things like that. It's something that I really enjoy and that inspires me. Thank you. Jamira? Um, the reason why I picked cause is because cause don't only just have skincare and hair care, they also teach you how to do nails. And that's what I was always like fascinated with. I was fascinated with coloring hair too, but my doing nails is like something I really wanted to do because I'm tired of going to the nail salon and having to pay money just to get my nails done. So I'd rather do my nails on my own. That's what's up. Uh, Sylvia? Yes. Why did you pick your CTE? Oh, we doing that again? Okay. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> so basically like another reason I picked it is because like, even with like the future is like, um, even with, like, the, like when you think about it, like everybody, all these shops on here, they tell you to go to their shop, but really all these shops got to do with my shop. Like, when you, if you in a fat, if you in a photo shoot, they gotta wear clothes. You don't get, you don't, if, okay, you can have a haircut, but if your clothes is not where you're supposed to be, you don't look right. If your hair, you can have your hair done. You can have the little curls. You don't got what you're supposed to have on. You don't look how you're supposed to look. And yeah, and then culinary, I mean, yeah, you won't be hungry, but. That's pretty much it. Okay. Thank you. All right, Jenna Lee. Oh my God, Sylvia. Okay. Um, so I chose fashion design because like I wanted to become a fashion designer. I wanted to know what it took to be a fashion designer. And like when I found out Dobbins had a fashion program, like I knew it was the right place for me. 
Um, you learn a lot. You learn a lot of things every day. Like I didn't know. I was surprised that in a few months, like I knew most of the things and like, I don't know. It's always been my future. It's always been my passion. Um, since I was a little girl, like I've always liked it. My mom always taught me to be myself through clothes and colors. And like, yeah. And it even, the program even like recommends you like colleges to go to um, specialized on fashion. So it's, it's pretty cool. Thank you. Terrence? Um, my shop is culinary. And I would say like, the reason why like, you know, I feel like I like my shop because like I always been around food ever since I was younger. And one of the people that like taught me how to really like get in the kitchen was my mom before, you know, she gets away. But like ever since then, like I've just been in the kitchen, like, you know, I always had, you know, a, I don't know what it's called, but like, I always had a passion for cooking, basically. And I was always around food. I was all, always around people who cook food. So it was just like, you know, when I saw adopted, it was the other schools that had, you know, culinary classes, classes, but not like a full on shop where like you get to go there every day. But when I saw Diamonds, girl, I'm not even gonna lie, it was like my last choice. And I don't know, maybe it was meant for me to come here because now, like, I don't know what I would do if I wouldn't have came here. Because now I'm starting to, you know, learn about the business side of culinary and like, you know, the profession. And I like it, like, I'm glad I came here. Thank you. Uh, Diamond? Um, I personally picked cosmetology because I always loved to do hair since I was a little girl. Like, since I was 10 years old, I've been doing hair and stuff. When I applied to Dobbins, I didn't know it was going to be like, you would be able to do nails and makeup and stuff like that. I just applied for the hair, but once I found out that I can do all the other stuff, I really like liked it. I personally love to do hair like. Thank you. And Bay. Um y'all can hear me? Yes. Okay. But um I pick graphics because it brings out me. I love art. I love to do art. That's just me. And I think like I think it's a great shop. Like the teacher is great. He helps me whenever I need help. Like he's just a great he's a great teacher and he teaches me a lot and I really just love I just love graphics. Thank you so much. All right, so we're going to conclude this. And, and thank you so much, students, teachers, for coming on this. Uh, this has been an opportunity for our ninth grades to really see what we have to offer at Dobbins. And hopefully, this will give you some more knowledge and uh, basis for when you make your pick. And have a wonderful day. Thank you. One second, I give a look, I give a little, a little shout out to my brand and all that. Uh, Where you yeah, I'm in prayer. Go ahead. My name is I'm a senior in graphic design. Uh, I'm one of the co founders of the brand, the brand Loser. Uh, yeah, I just want people to show love and like support us because we learned this during in school. This is something that we. Uh, with skill we picked up graphics and with our teacher and all that. Uh, the link uh, to the stuff, I, if somebody tell me to the website and all the designs and all that, and we're going to be uploading more, just like show love, and we'll show love back. It's just how we work in this school. Thank you. And I'll say something real quick. Who's there? Zena. Oh, Zena, go ahead. 
Um, well, again, about business, it can help you, you know, plan the rest of your life and you get to like, you know, um, apply for applications and stuff, like different places. You get to go places. Also, if you join business, you know, it can inspire you to do whatever you want. It'll help with your skills, your techniques. It helps with your competition skills a lot because there's a lot, of, there's some places that you apply for like DECA. It's like a whole competition thing. It can, you know, it really helps with that. You get to meet people that it's a world thing. It, it's, it's cool. Thank you, Zena.